Hello everyone, welcome to Infijan. In this very exciting video of factorial equations, we'll be solving x plus 4 times x factorial equal to x cube. This is cubic polynomial with factorial notation. While solving this problem, we will see, we will use factorial, factorial notation, recursive formula, algebraic identities, algebraic manipulation and some by logical arguments we will conclude our result. So let's get started by writing what does it mean if factorial is there. So x factorial or factorial x can be written as x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial I can write. General formula is n factorial we can write n times n minus 1 factorial. This is recursive general formula. We will use this. That's why I am writing here. Okay. Now what I am going to do, I will consider factorial terms in the left hand side only. So it will become 4x factorial equal to x cube minus x by taking away x from both sides. Okay. Now it is obvious that we can take x common. So it will be left with x square minus 1. Now this we will consider x times x square minus 1 square. It is obvious that difference of square. So we can write in that place by using this algebraic identity a plus b a minus b. So right hand side will ultimately give us x minus 1 x plus 1. Okay. Now I can write x factorial as so let me write x factorial. We can write x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial using recursive formula. We can write up to x minus 10 factorial also, but if it is useful. So let me write in the left hand side, it would be 4 times x, x minus 1, x minus 2 factorial. Okay. Now we can cancel both sides, x term, x minus 1 term. So ultimately what we have in the left side that would be 4 times x minus 2 factorial equal to x plus 1 only. Alright. Now I am going to substitute. I am going to substitute x minus 2 equal to y. Once I will put x minus 2 equal to y, then x will become y plus 2. And see right hand side x plus 1 is there. So we can find out x plus 1. It will become y plus 3. So our equation, this equation will convert into 4 times y factorial equal to y plus 3. Okay. Now again recursive formula I will use y factorial I will write y times y minus 1 factorial. Okay. Right side would be y plus 3. Now I am going to divide this complete equation by y. Once I will divide this complete equation by y. Let me write that equation once y times y minus 1 factorial equal to y plus 3. Now divide by y. So equation will become 4 times y minus 1 factorial equal to 1 plus 3 over y. Now few arguments, few logical arguments we will generate from here. See, n, if you are writing n factorial, n must be, n can be 0 and n can be positive. Means it would be whole number. n must be whole number. Obviously, y minus 1 must be whole number. So, y must be greater than or equal to 1. Likewise, here conclusion was n should be greater than or equal to 0. The domain of n factorial we can consider. So point is from left hand side we can conclude y must be greater than or equal to 1. Second point 
लेफ्ट हैंड साइड शुड बी ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव इंटीजर दिस इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग आर्ग्यूमेंट वी कैन राइट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज पॉजिटिव इंटीजर सो ऑब्वियसली राइट हैंड साइड मस्ट बी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर ओके सो फॉर पॉजिटिव इंटीजर वाई कैन नॉट एक्सीड थ्री सो दैट मीन्स वाई शुड बी लेस देन और इक्वल टू थ्री वाई आई एम राइटिंग वंस वाई इज एक्सीडिंग थ्री सो दिस थ्री ओवर वाई विल बिकम फ्रैक्शन थ्री ओवर फोर थ्री ओवर फाइव थ्री ओवर सेवन थ्री ओवर सिक्स थ्री ओवर नाइन थ्री ओवर टेन दैट वुड बी वन फ्रैक्शन सो राइट हैंड साइड विल कम आउट इंटीजर वन इज इंटीजर इंटीजर प्लस फ्रैक्शन इज डेसिमल नंबर सो दैट वोट बी एनी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर सो इट विल नॉट मैच सो रेस्ट्रिक्शन नंबर वन इज वाई लेस देन वाई ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू वन एंड कंक्लूजन फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड इज वाई शुड बी लेस देन और इक्वल टू थ्री इफ आई विल क्लब बोथ द रिजल्ट देन द पॉसिबिलिटी फॉर वाई इज वाई इक्वल टू वन वाई इक्वल टू टू एंड वाई इक्वल टू थ्री ऑल राइट सो ओनली नीड टू चेक थ्री वैल्यूज ऑफ वाई okay so if i will check only then i will consider the left hand side for y equal to 1 y equal to 2 and y equal to 3 so our lhs will be y equal to 1 1 minus 1 factorial so that means 0 factorial 0 factorial is 1 so 4 rhs the right hand side right hand side would be 1 plus 3 over 1 so it is integer so that means if you will check it is matching so true y equal to 2 we can check also 4 times 2 minus 1 factorial 2 minus 1 means 1 factorial 1 factorial is 1 so 4 rhs value would be 1 plus 3 over 2 see it is coming out fraction not acceptable y equal to 3 3 minus 1 is 2 factorial so 2 factorial is 2 lhs would be 8 in this case 1 plus 3 over 3 which is equal to 2 but left hand side is 8 rhs is 2 again not acceptable so which y value is acceptable that is y equal to 1 okay so what was our consideration x minus 2 equal to y now i will put x minus 2 equal to 1 so x will be equal to 3 this is how we can conclude through analytics or through logical conclusion now i am going to verify our result let's verify it okay x equal to 3 so 3 plus 4 times 3 factorial equal to it should match with 3 cube so 3 plus 3 factorial is 6 4 times 6 is 24 equal to 3 cube 27 is equal to 27 hence verified that means x equal to 3 is the correct solution i hope you like this video do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video